Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. So one of my favorite things to do is to break down major league hitters' swings. I think it's important as a player, as a coach, to understand what makes hitters successful. And if we're going to look at someone today, might as well look at one of the greatest hitters and greatest players to ever walk the planet. And he's still doing it every single day. He's still young. What am I talking about? He's still really young. But he's a fantastic player. Mike Trout. I think you've all heard of him before. What I want to do is we're going to break down Mike Trout's swing. What makes him successful? Things that stand out when I watch him. You know, what do I see that I think helps him be successful? Before we do that, though, let's take a quick peek. Just in case you've been living under a rock and you don't know how good Mike Trout is, let's just take a look real quick at him right here. And so you can see, if we look at this season, you look at his percentile rankings, uh, he's having an, just an unbelievable season. Now, this is pretty normal for him, but you can see he's, he's basically almost at the 100th percentile in, in everything. Average exit velocity, max exit velocity, hard hit percentage, expected weighted on base average, expected batting average, expected slugging. I'm not going to keep going, but you can see that he's basically at the top of the league and pretty much every offensive category. And if we scroll down here, you can see again, if it's red, it's good. And, and everything is red. So barrel percentage, he barrels up everything. Everything's a hard hit. It's just amazing what he is able to do. Now, if you go over here and click on zones right here, this is gonna give you the strike zone and you get a better understanding of where Trout likes to drive the ball, where he hits the ball hardest, where he hits the ball best. I went back to 2019 just because there's more at-bats here. 2021, obviously, we're still really early in the season. Um, and 2020 was kind of a weird season. Uh, but I, I think most people know this, but if you don't, Mike Trout drives the ball down. He wants the ball down. His swing is built to hit the ball down, and that's really important. I get asked a lot, you know, why do I hit the ball up well, or why do I hit the ball down well, or why do I struggle on certain pitches in certain locations. Um, it comes back to, to mechanics and swing mechanics for me. And so everyone's swing is built to hit certain pitches well, and there's going to be certain pitches that you don't hit well. People call those holes in your swing, right? And so Mike Trout's swing is built to hit the ball down better than it is built to hit the ball up. Now, he's able to hit the ball well you know, all over the place, but he really crushes the ball down. And so when we look at his swing, keep that in mind. And we're going to talk about some of the reasons why he's able to do that. But if we go through here and look at pretty much any of these charts, you can see red is good again, blue is not so good. And you're going to typically see that he really drives the ball down. The red almost on every chart that we look at, the bottom of the chart is typically red and the top of the chart is typically a little bit more blue. Again, you can look at hard hit, you can look at uh, exit velocity. I'll just kind of scroll down here really quickly. Right, You can look at batting average, you can look at slugging percentage, uh, weighted on base average, really anything you look at. Again, the, you, you can see that, that up and especially in pitch gives him the most trouble. Anything down, he hammers. Okay, so um, I pulled up here uh, two of his swings. We have one facing his chest here, a side angle, and then we have one uh, from the opposite side looking at the back of him. And so let's just kind of go through here, and I want to kind of show you the way he gets ready to hit. Um, and, and we call these core principles, right? And if you've seen our channel, you know that I, I believe in four core principles. I think that when you look at any elite hitter, they're going to possess four core things that they do. Very consistent across the board when you look at the great hitters again. And so I'm not going to go through every single one because that could take a really long time. But we talked about them in the past. So you can go back to our hitting playlist uh, on our channel and check those out. Uh, but I want to show you really quickly kind of how Trout gets ready. Because I think... Uh, in order to be a consistent hitter, you have to get to a consistent hitting position on time. And that's the key. I call it your, your spot. You've got to get to your spot. And that is having both your lower body and your upper body ready to hit. And so with the lower body, uh, we talk about loading this, this back leg or rear leg. So for Trout to be 
his right leg. And you can see as he picks up his front foot and starts to stride here, you can see he starts to coil. And so he starts to get that back right pocket towards the pitcher. That's going to help close or coil his hips. And it's going to help get his back leg back and loaded and ready to turn. And if you watch his upper body, this is really, really important. We call it a pullback. So it's, it's getting your right elbow for a righty behind your right hand. And notice how when he gets ready to hit, right, he starts with his hands a little high here. He starts with the bat flat. And again, this is personal preference. Everyone starts in different positions, but he starts to get that right elbow behind the right hand right here as he picks his front foot up and begins to load. And the move is like someone's kind of standing behind you. You're just going to kind of nudge him with that with that right arm. For a lefty, it's the exact opposite. It's the left elbow behind the left hand. You'll also notice his posture. Look at his posture. He starts really upright, right? Very vertical. But as he gets ready to hit, you can see he pushes his hips back. So we tell our hitters, get your butt back behind your heels. And you can see his chest starts to get over the plate. So he gets in better posture. Right? And so this is, this is his move to get ready. Now, everyone might do it differently stylistically. Some guys have big leg kicks, small leg kicks, you know, upright stances, wide stances, um, all different types of styles. But this is a consistent move, getting the lower body and the back leg ready to hit and loaded and then getting pulled back with the, with the upper body. Right? And so here he is. His front foot's about to get into, a gr into the ground. And this is a great hitting position. You can see his lower body is coiled. You can see he's pulled back with his upper body. When you get pulled back with your upper body, you're going to get a little bit of a roll in with your lead shoulder. And you can see his lead shoulder now, right? It started here and now it's, it's here, right? And so he is ready to hit. If we click on the, the other angle from him here, you can see same type of thing. You can really see, you can see his hips. Let's look at his hips first. So see how they're slightly open? Right? You can see that, that piping on his left leg, and then as he picks his foot up, he's going to start to coil. That piping disappears, so he's closing his hips. And then if you look at his upper body, notice how that right elbow is going to get behind that right hand. And so when his foot's about to come down right here, he's like this. Right, So he kind of starts like this, and then he gets ready like that. And you can see his body is slightly to the right of the pitcher. So right here, his hips and his shoulder are basically pointed right at the pitcher, even maybe a little bit to the left of the pitcher. He starts a little bit open with his hips, but then he coils. And now when he lands, now it's slightly to the right of the pitcher. Okay. So that's the consistent getting your spot on time. Again, you got to be on time. If you can't get to this spot, when your brain tells your body to go, it says, hey, I want to hit. You've got to be at this spot. If you're not, you're going to be late. You're going to be inconsistent, right? And I'd rather be, if I'm going to be a little late or a little early, I'd rather be just a little bit early because if I'm a little bit late, I'm, I'm dead. I'm out, right? I'm not going to be able to get my swing off on time. Okay. So that's getting to position to hit. Now, let's look at what Trout does a little bit differently. Everyone does this, but he does this maybe a little bit more than a lot of hitters. And so when he launches his swing right here, right? Here he goes, his back leg's gonna start to turn. Now this pitch is a little bit down, right? And this is where, this is his nitro zone. You do not wanna throw the ball down here. And we talk a lot about bat path. I wanna get my barrel turned behind the ball, right? If you look at any major league hitter, any successful hitter, they're going to impact the ball with the bat moving slightly up. Now on a ball down, it's difficult to do that for most hitters. The ball's down, most hitters take a little bit more of a steeper angle to it, and so they're not able to turn the barrel behind the ball and impact that ball with the bat moving slightly up. But Trout is, you can see how he hits this ball slightly up with his swing. How is he able to do that? Well, it's two things. It's by the way he works his upper body and then by the way he gets his hands working and getting, we call it getting palm up, palm down. So bottom hand goes palm down, top hand goes palm up. So let's look at the upper body first. Notice how this rear shoulder, his right shoulder, starts to work under his lead shoulder, right? So his upper body is working this way. 
right? It's not working this way. I call this east to west move. It's not fighting like this. His right shoulder isn't fighting over the top like that. He works this way. His right shoulder works under. This is a common misconception. A lot of people, if you see the right shoulder work under or the rear shoulder work under the lead shoulder in a young player's swing, everyone goes bananas. You can't do that. You're going to pop out. Every hitter that I watch, successful hitter, doesn't matter a level, they got to allow their rear shoulder work under their lead shoulder. And so just think of your upper body. If you do this and your right shoulder stays up, I'm pulling off the ball. My left shoulder's pulling off. These are hitters, they get yelled at every time. Hey, stay on the ball, you're pulling off the ball, stop yanking that shoulder. So then you try to do the right thing and you go like this and people say, hey, you're getting under the ball, stop doing that, you're gonna get under the ball, stop dropping your shoulder. Hitters up there like, what do I do? I can't do this, I can't do, should I just stand here? Do this, I can't hit like that. Can't create any, any bad speed with that. So you gotta work your upper body, we call it working it back that way. And so your right shoulder is gonna go under your left when you do that. It's more of a north-south move. See how that, it looks like the lead shoulder is going up and back, the rear shoulder is coming under. And then look at his hands. Notice how he's getting palm up, palm down, right? So that barrel, well, let's watch the knob actually. So when I go palm up, palm down, that knob starts to turn, right? So the, the move starts, when you start to do this, people say, do you swing down? Do you swing up? Do you, you know, how do you swing? When you make this move, the knob is gonna to start to work down, but it's not pushing down like that. It's, it's turning while it's starting to go down because eventually it's going to turn up, right? So right here, that knob is working up. So it's turning, palm up, palm down, the knob starts to turn down, and then it starts to turn up. And because Trout allows his rear shoulder to work under and gets palm up, he's able to get the barrel behind the ball in this low pitch. And a lot of players have a difficult time doing this. If we go over to this other view, here you can see what I mean by the upper body working north-south, right? That right shoulder works under, the lead shoulder works back as the back leg turns. Right? So right here, same spot. So now you can see clearly right shoulder under left, palm up, palm down. And now this ball's a little bit higher, right? This ball's about mid-thigh. So he's able to get the barrel behind the ball on the mid, you know, that mid thigh pitch. He's able to really do it on the low pitch. That's what he's built for. Now, the more you go up, the more he has a little bit more difficult time hitting the ball. He really gets this move, right? And everyone does it to a different degree. I would say that hitters that are not good don't do it at all. They fight like this and keep it up. Good hitters allow the right shoulder to work under, their upper body works back. Again, the more you do it, Trout, Trout really has that move built into his swing. So the more the ball's down, the easier it is for him to hit it. The more the ball's up, it's a little bit more difficult. Typically, the more the ball is up, the less this is gonna work under. And that's just from practice, right? You're practicing hitting balls low, middle, high, in, out. And so when you make your swing, that's what you're working on. If the ball's down, you're gonna make it more. If the ball's up, you're gonna make it less. But everyone has a certain way that they move um, and this is the way Trout moves. And so therefore he hits the ball really well down. He struggles a little bit against the ball up. He's still good, um, but he's not great. He's great down, okay? So that gives you a little bit of a breakdown on Trout and some of the things that I look for and, and I look for in all hitters. And so those are some of the core principles. Again, everyone's gonna do them a little bit better than others and a little bit differently. Um, but all major league hitters are gonna have some of those things in their swing. So hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully you like this. Give me uh, another hitter that you want me to break down. I'll look at them for you. And we can look at you know where they're successful and then why. What is it about their swing that makes them successful on those certain pitches? So um, if you're a hitter, learn your swing. Look at your swing and try to figure out which balls do I hit best? Which ones do I struggle against? And then why is that? That's how you become a better hitter. Um, and if you're a coach, you can do obviously the same thing for your for your players, and if you're a parent, you can too. Uh, just try not to drive your son or daughter nuts um, with it, but it can definitely help. That's all I have. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff. We'll talk to you later. If you've enjoyed this video and want to learn more about building the elite swing, check out our new course. We have over two hours of content, almost 30 hitting drills. We break down the exact mechanics that you're going to want to implement into your swing. I've put the link in the description if you want to go check it out.